Welcome to another beautiful Wednesday morning on Destiny. It's another beautiful arms day today. Let's go check out what Ben she has for us for our weapon orders today. And thank you for tuning in for another episode of Destiny Arms Day Loadout. Alright, Benji, let's see what you have for us for the Judith D. Hake Hand Cannon. Let's see the first one. Quick draw with steady hand. Crowd control, spray and pray, hand loaded, high caliber rounds, oil frame. Okay, roll. Let's see what's the next one. Fast draw, steady hand, okay. Again with crowd control, who's next? Hand loaded, explosive rounds, reinforced barrel. Mm. Increases the range, but the stability goes out the window. Quick draw, sure shot, okay. This one comes with hot swap, spray and play, hand loaded, explosive rounds, oil frame. Not bad for PvP. But I'm kind of liking the first pick with the uh, crowd control and spray and pray. Yeah, this could be my first pick. See, that'd be runner up and third choice. Alright, next one is the Amalon 8C4 hand cannon. Let's see. Ooh, this one. Fast draw, quick draw, and sure shot for the sights. Mulligan, snapshot with injected mold, triple tap, and surrounded. Triple tap's not bad. But I would have had something other than Mulligan. Alright, next one. Another one with Mulligan. Fast draw, steady hand, sure shot. Mulligan, lightweight, brace frame. Oh, that's a good one. Brace frame. Rescue mech, exhumed. This would be perfect for PvP. Well, let's check out the third one. Fast draw, steady hand, true sights. Alright, this one comes with third eye, quick draw, injection mold, triple tap, and surrounded. Kind of like this one has a triple tap, third eye, useful in PvP and PvE. I'm going, that's first pick, second pick, third pick. Yeah, that's good. And now we have the Hake Herja D pulse rifle. Alright, first one. Hollow sights with the range sights, glass half full, unflinching, snapshot, speed reload, and injection mold. That's actually a good, a good combo. Stability increase, get extra damage halfway through the mag, 
make it easier to aim under fire. See the next one. We got the iron with the range sights, surrounded, rodeo, single point sling, speed reload, injection mold, two stability perks, but surrounded. And no, I'll pass on this one. Iron, watchdog, okay. This comes with danger close, unflinching, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, injection mold. Well, not bad. But with a pulse rifle, the optimal thing you want to do is get people at range. Danger close is... Really? Well, the way they nerf the pulse rifles, it's not, it's not practical. They need to do more damage what they're doing now. That's a whole another video in itself. <coughs> Basically, this is going to be easy. This is first pick, second pick for stability choices, and third pick because of danger close. Doesn't make sense on the pulse rifle. Alright, let's do a quick switch to an alternate character for the other weapons, and we'll check out those. I believe one of them is a sniper and a shotgun. Let's grab the warlock. So that was my first pick. Uh, let's see. Grab the second one. Alright, we got the shotguns this time. Little sh was a strongbow D. Okay, smart drift control. Aggressive ballistics. Danger close. Relentless tracker. Flare of Magwell. Perfect balance. Oil frame. Alright, let's check out the next one. Smooth ballistics, aggressive ballistics, seems like a repeat. Army of One, Rangefinder, Flare Magwell, Fitted Stock, Oil Frame. Not bad combo, Rangefinder, Army of One. Go with a stability perk. Would have loved something with rifle or range. Let's see what this one has. CQB Ballistics, a Linear Compensator, there we go, a little bit of range, impact, Danger Close, a Danger Close on the shot shotgun does make sense, because everybody rushing everybody, Range Finder, oh that's even better, Flare Magwell, Perfect Balance, Rifle Barrel, Linear Compensator, yes, yes, this may be the choice right here. So that'd be first. Second, third. Good, right? Now we have the Tamar D snap rifle from Haka. Let's see, first one. 
ATA Scout with the ATD Raptor Sights, Unflinging, Zen Moment, Perfect Balance, Quick Draw, and Brace Frame. Ooh, that's a good stability. Zen Moment. That's nice. See the next one. We got the long range and raptor sights. Take a knee, spray and play, perfect balance, quick draw, embrace frame. Eh. A little lackluster. Long range, raptor, unflinching, zen moment, perfect balance, armor piercing rounds, appendage magazine. All right, set moment, I'm finishing, perfect balance. I think this one had the low zoom scope. The scout, and I'm finishing, set more perfect balance. Quick draw, perfect balance. Okay. This is my top pick, first pick, second best, and third pick. All right, let's take a look at the field test weapons. We got an auto rifle to use against the Cabal. We have a fusion rifle to use against Vince Bex Minotaurs. We got to make precision shots with a hand cannon. That's freaking awesome. And a pulse rifle to use against the Vex. So that's pretty good. And we got a sniper to use against falling captains. Awesome. Finally, a week with no crucible weapons. They're freaking insane. Alright. For orders for next week, we have the Amalana SR4 Scout Rifle. I don't believe this has been on the orders yet. This is the first time I've seen the Kokoyas. Kokoitis. However you pronounce that. All right, what's next? The hand cannon from Hake. We got the JB, uh, JLB 42 rocket launcher and 47 rocket launcher. And we got the Uzume sniper rifle. Well, that concludes weapons. <laughs> Arms they load out.